President Paul Bia accepted for the first time that Cameroon has been faced with numerous challenges due to internal and external factors. And then when I was talking, when I was listening to him, I was expecting him to do it more on the internal factors. That is the Anglophone crisis, the Boko Haram, the insecurity all over Cameroon, the embezzlement in, within his government, the corruption in Cameroon. But he turned that immediately after he, he concluded with that statement, he blamed all the hardship in Cameroon on the uh, crisis in Ukraine and the crisis in the Middle East between Israel and Gaza. But throughout this period of the Bobby have been forgetting one particular issue. The war in southern Cameroon is more than what is going on in Ukraine and in Israel, between Israel and Gaza. Because these are external issues. They have been invaded by different group of people, but in Cameroon, the southern Cameroonians have been invaded by Cameroonians themselves. Brother killing brother. All the people in southern Cameroon, they are like liabilities in Cameroon now, presently. And that President Bobia look at it and believe that they are not of any problem. That the hardship in Cameroon, the Anglophone crisis, has nothing to do with. So that the international community will not pressure him to solve that problem. Because he keep on telling that there is no problem. And then he call on all Cameroonians to trust him. We have been trusting you. We have, been, we have not been trusting you. We have just allowed ourselves in your hands for 41 years. You have done nothing. Is it within one year because you are left with one year, this 2024 to be in office? Is it this 2024 will you adjust everything? The problem in Cameroon is more than President Pobia. And he should stop blaming people, blaming people left and right because of what is going on in Cameroon. The war in Ukraine has nothing to do with the hardship in Cameroon. The war in Gaza has nothing to do with the hardship in Cameroon. I don't believe that it is the fighting that is going on in Ukraine or in, in Gaza that destroy all the root in Yaoundé and Douala. I don't believe that the hatch, the war, the fighting in Ukraine and in Gaza has something to do with the electricity or a, 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 a water problem in Cameroon, sanitation problem in Cameroon. I don't believe that they are responsible for a school without teachers, school without benches, a school with, without infrastructure. I don't believe that they are behind the problems within our healthcare system in Cameroon. I don't believe that they, these two conflicts are the one forcing the government officials to embezzle the money. But President Bobia keep on turning and pushing everything on. The first subsidy that he is talking of reducing, and they have re-reducing it, 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 at the detriment of the people of Cameroon. I don't believe it is because of the conflict in Ukraine that he keep on at every minute blaming them. That the hardship is because of them. The hardship is because of coronavirus. President Bobia, you took over office in 1982, and when you took over office in 1982, there was no coronavirus. There, are, there was no fighting in Ukraine or in Gaza. You did not give us water. You have not give up, given us electricity. Roots we do not have. Cholera killing thousands of people in Cameroon because of poor drinkable water. People, children learning on that tree without a shelter because of you. There was no coronavirus. So stop blaming this and look at yourself. Examine yourself as a government. Examine your government. Examine your way of governing the people of Cameroon and see whether you have done well for the people of Cameroon to enjoy. Up to, way, way up to the point where you are blaming other people for being responsible for the hardship that your own people, that you have been governing for 41 years, been going through. Examine yourself.